You know, you know what? Jensen Huang from NVIDIA was in Vietnam. Oh, wow. And you know, you know NVIDIA? Yes. What do they do? It's a tech company that um, manufactures GPUs, right? That's correct. They make GPUs and they're very important in the area of AI. Mm. And they're investing big into Vietnam and today we're going to talk about it. Yay. Hey Tom, it's the one and only Floyd Money Mayweather. First I want to say congratulations on your YouTube channel. Everybody needs to follow your YouTube channel. So what everyone needs to do is subscribe to Tom Pink. Great guy, great person. Tom, keep up the great work. So you know how much money NVIDIA is worth? I think a lot, but I don't know the specific number. About $3.36 trillion. trillion. That's the net capitalization. Trillion, wow. not billion, not million trillion dollars. Wow, that's a lot I don't of even money. know how to say that in Vietnamese dollars. <laughs> Three that's trillion. That's a lot of zeros. Yes. Yeah. So so the most valuable company today is Apple. Ooh. Yeah. That's why, you know, we all have iPhones. Yeah. We make them the most valuable company. And MacBooks. But exactly, right? We have MacBooks. But Nvidia is the second most valuable company in the world and they want to invest big in Vietnam. Ooh. So Jensen Huang, the CEO was in Vietnam and I think he uh, met with the government and they were going to put two AI research centers in Vietnam. Wow. Yeah, and they only have two research centers in the world, one in the US, one in Taiwan, and now the third center will be in Vietnam. That's huge. That's huge news for Vietnam. Yeah. Yeah, and also Jensen Huang and NVIDIA bought a company from Vingroup. Ooh, what is that? It's, it's Vinbrain. 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 Oh. So actually, I've seen this company's uh, product and it's actually very cool. Mm -hmm. So let's say if I go to the hospital, I do a scan, they have this AI solution uh, that can actually read the scan and figure out if you have any problems. It's better than the human eye, it's better than doctors because it collects all the data from the Vimec hospitals. I don't know if that's the case, but, <laughs> but uh, it collects all the data and it trains the AI to be able to diagnose better than the human doctor. Wow, so it's super cutting edge. Super cutting edge. Wow. So Nvidia also bought that company from Mr. Wong. Awesome. And uh, I think that's great news. They also collaborate with EPT. They mm. invested $200 million into EPT to build AI. I say, I believe factories to, to make products. Yeah. Uh, and also as part of that deal, they also invest into education. They, mm. they want to train more AI talent here in Vietnam. Ooh. So NVIDIA's move into Vietnam is really good for Vietnam. It is. Yes, uh, we're gonna have a lot more AI talent. It's going to transform us from a low cost manufacturing economy to a very innovative research based economy. Wow. Yeah, I, I think that's good. That means your income's gonna rise. It's true. You're gonna make more money. Everybody's gonna make more money, <laughs> right? And I think AI is excellent. Yeah. But is it gonna replace your job? Possibly. Yeah. It's too expensive. I don't need a translator. I can get AI assistant to do that. Oh, all right, a robot. Well, a robot sitting next to you to translate for you. Oh, you, you need a robot. I need a robot. Yeah. Can you be my robot? <laughs> but right now, you're still cheaper than a robot, so we'll still <laughs> use you, okay? But the thing is, I, I don't think AI is going to replace people because, mm. you see, Miss V here, she used ChatGPT a lot. And I do. Because she's smart. Because AI is not here to replace people. Mm -hmm. AI is here to help people be more productive. So, Miss V used ChatGPT to find answers to, to problems. Yeah. So that she can better assist me. Mm -hmm. And she can automate 20% uh, of the boring stuff, right? She do a lot of boring stuff at work, like maybe translating my, my videos, but she can use AI to make that happen faster. That's so true. So that she can, you, do you do that? Yeah, but sometimes- See, she's smart. Sometimes it's wrong, but so yes. there still need to be human in exactly. intervention. Yeah. Yeah. You can't get the human out of the equation. It's true. AI cannot replace human. Yes. But human will be replaced by other human that use AI. Yeah, makes, makes sense. Makes sense, right? Makes sense. Yeah. So so if you don't know anything about ChatGPT, open AI, you don't know anything about AI, now is the time to get into AI. Yeah. And Vietnam is gonna be very big. We're gonna be a very important country 
you know, when it comes to AI as well. That's exciting. Yeah, and also this big move into uh, Vietnam also signals something. Hmm, what is it? I think that means the U.S. love us. The, the, the USA, the Americans, they love us. Because if they're gonna invest this big amount of money and, and effort and energy and, and, and research into Vietnam, mm -hmm. then that means the U.S. is unlikely. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure Jensen Huang talked to somebody in the U.S. government. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, it's unlikely for the U.S. to punish us, you know, in terms of tariff. They're not gonna tax us for our export, which is good. That means maybe, maybe Vietnamese export is safe. Not like China. China has big problems right now. Yes. And that's why they're all moving to Vietnam. Yes. So I, I think we're in a very exciting place. We're going to be the manufacturing hub of the world. And we're going to be the AI research center of the world. Wow. And maybe AI is going to help our, our manufacturing. Yes. I think it's so exciting. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. And USA love us. Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take some fucking action. And what are you going to do? Look into NVIDIA and also VinBrain, okay? And, and learn more about AI. Yes. Yeah, because that's going to be an important skill. It's true. All right, very important skill in the future. And don't be a fucktard.